Roll tight, everybody. I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. If you're an Alabama fan or just a football fan in general, we think you'll enjoy the show. And one of the great things about our podcast format is that you can listen anytime you like because every episode's available 24-7. You can find us in the podcast section of iTunes or at bigbrainsmedia.com, or you can go to our Bama Talk Facebook page and hit the Listen to the Show button. Get your gridiron groove on with Bama Talk and roll tide. It's the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday morning, September 24th, and rain is back. Maybe a strong storm around here later today. Let's get in there and take a look at it. We'll check the uh, big picture this morning. Negative tilt upper trough moving in here from the Great Plains. And uh, again, you know, if this were like March or April with a lot of moisture and instability, that might be a severe weather look. But thankfully, the uh, severe weather parameters are not very overwhelming today. No doubt there could be a strong storm. At uh, daybreak, we're starting off the day with a bit of light rain, a few showers over East Alabama. That was at uh, 4.56 this morning. We'll expect uh, showers and storms to increase as the day rolls along statewide. On the watch warning map, flash flood watch up for much of central Florida. That includes places like uh, Tampa Bay, Daytona Beach, and Orlando. And look up north, a winter storm watch, the first of the season. For parts of the northern mountains up there, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, out around Yellowstone, and frosted freeze advisories in effect for parts of the Great Lakes in the northeast. And again, that is a sign of the times. Uh, low end 5% severe weather possibilities are up today for West Alabama, much of Mississippi, and West Tennessee. And as we discussed, that's a very favorable upper air look coming in here for severe weather, but the uh, atmosphere is just not really primed for that. But still, we'll watch radar trends because you know the deal. When it comes to thunderstorms, expect the unexpected. Here's the rain for the next five days, about one-half to one inch. And uh, that will be uh, mostly today, tonight, early tomorrow. And the tropics remain amazingly quiet for September 24th. We'll check the GFS, the Global Forecast System. This is the OZ Run, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon. Big upper low east of Maine, strong negative tilt upper trough approaching us from the northwest, and a new trough coming into the Pacific northwest. That's the one that will bring the snow to the uh, northern mountains out there. And down below that, uh, there's a look at the surface chart. This is at 1 o'clock today. That's off the GFS. And let's go down to the NAM. You know, this the high-res NAM tends to give us a better idea of where the convection might be. And this is actually valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. And it's got a pretty nice batch of storms over uh, the northwestern quadrant of Alabama. And then by 5 o'clock, those storms are moving east. And uh, again, you could clearly hear some thunder later today because look at this. This is the surface-based cape, the instability. And uh, the cape values rise up to over, what, 1,500 joules over parts of North Alabama. So uh, and look at the numbers down south. Uh, those are very high instabilities over South Alabama near the Gulf Coast where there were 3,000 joules down there. Uh, so uh, we'll keep an eye on the radar, but again, an organized severe weather event not expected. If we do have any issues, more than likely it's going to be related to a uh, hail. All right, and this is tomorrow, 1 o'clock. Showers and storms are exiting the state. This is suggesting still maybe a few lingering showers over the eastern part of Alabama, but we get the idea the better chance of rain tomorrow will be during the morning if we see rain, and then maybe a few peaks of sunshine by afternoon. And uh, temperatures today, I don't think we get out of the 70s because of the clouds and rain. We might see 80 tomorrow. And then Thursday, we go rain-free. Uh, lots of sun. And I'd say a high should be in the low 80s, which is uh, average for late September. Friday looks good. Great weather for high school football. No threat of rain. Temperatures low to mid-80s. And that's going to be the story for the weekend. There's Saturday for the college football games around the Deep South. We're going to be in great shape this time. No rain to deal with. Large high over Boston, nosing in here from the northeast. And Sunday, same deal. We're in uh, great shape. The day should be mostly sunny. But we note the cold front uh, west of the state, lined up from near Chicago down to Abilene. And uh, some of those showers might creep in here late Sunday night. And this is Monday, and the showers just kind of die as the upper support wanes for that. So a uh, small chance of a shower maybe late Sunday night or Monday of next week, but it certainly doesn't look like a big deal. Here's Tuesday, a week from today. Still got broad troughing over the east. It looks dry and pleasant. Highs maybe upper 70s, something like that. And uh, lows down in the 50s to start next week. So nice, uh, quiet pattern, really, after we get the storms out of here uh, uh, today and tomorrow. We'll check the uh, uh, later in the forecast, October 6th. Hey, 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 look at this thing here. 
Woo, buddy, that's a split flow with a huge upper low that's over Missouri and a big old batch of rain and storms coming in here with that feature. And then on the 9th, the end of the forecast, cold air covers the Great Lakes in New England and looks pretty cool and relatively dry down here if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.